Hello everyone, SoFlo Entertainment here with a review of The Amazing Spider-Man, issue 71, and it says this is the Sinister War, part 1. So I guess we have a Sinister War book that actually deals with the Sinister War, and then we have this that deals with uh, Peter MJ and Kindred's problems. Uh, it opens up with basically Kindred talking with Peter, um, Norman and MJ, uh, well, the Mysterio is with MJ. Mysterio takes MJ to where, uh, his, uh, his room where it all started, his lab where it all started, where he first became Mysterio. Um, and then he reveals to her, uh, her if, uh, she remembers the psychiatrist she used to see to cope with Gwen's death, and it was, um, it was revealed that, uh, she she finally remembers that Mysterio was that um, psychiatrist. Uh, uh, Peter, we see uh, Spider Man and Kindred. Kindred's telling uh, Peter that it all used to be a dream to him, but now it's not. Uh, when he means him, he means himself, Kindred, and uh, that we he, everyone had to suffer because of the decisions he made, and that. Uh, he had lots of uh, power, but uh, he's responsible for everything that's happened to them. And then we go to Carly and um, Harry. I think, I don't know where this is Harry Osborn, Harry Lyman, but uh, there's definitely two Harrys. And she's, you know, we're, they're talking there and uh, Carly's getting upset with Harry that he should become more responsible. And uh, he has family that's thinking about him. And then uh, cuts to the chase with that. Uh, Carrie notices that the the cell door is open, so someone left the cell door open for them to escape. Uh, we also see Norman Osborn. Uh, he has a um, uh, an appointment with a uh, lawyer to deal with. Uh, oh, what's that villain's name? I forgot of the villain's name. Anyway, the, the dude that's a half cyborg, he's got to deal with his issues there. So it obviously has something to do with his will. And uh, then uh, we go back to Spider-Man and Kindred. And, uh, you know, Kindred's still telling him about his responsibilities and how he's responsible for everything that's happened. And uh, it's, it's sort of leading up to one more day. I guess one more day is going to be addressed, dealt with it. Or, or retconned or whatever. Um, there was no, we didn't go back to the um, casino scene with uh, Doctor Strange and Mephisto. Hopefully that's in next week's Sinister War book. But uh, the the art was good by Vincentini and Sabatini, I thought. And uh, of course the story's great with uh, Nick Spencer. And uh, that was good, I liked that. But then in the finish, we go back to the Mysterio and MJ and uh mysterio says that we all have our parts to play in this and he goes off and she mj tries to stop and say no no quentin you you've changed you're not bad anymore so um then we see how it's not mysterio that's doing this but it's actually kindred and so it ends with kindred um facing mj so um yeah i'm I'm hooked on this. I think this might end up really good. This might be the frosting on the cake. I mean, as much as I'd like Nick Spencer's run, it's been kind of lackluster and not leading to anything, but this looks like it's really uh, got the meat and potatoes to it, and uh, I hope he really sticks the landing with this because this would really be a good ending to his run. And I'm still going to be sad about seeing him because I don't think anybody could write Spider-Man at Marvel. So we'll just wait and see for uh, issue 72 and also next week. Next week is the Sinister War Part 2. And then after that is um, issue 72, Sinister War Part 2 of that uh, issue. So uh, please let me know in the comments what you think. And uh, I... I gave this an A, as I said before. Thank you. So flow out. Bye.